We're going to try and explain the benefits of damping grease using these nuts and bolts. But first, some insight into the subject. Damping grease is an economical engineering solution to help control noise, vibration and motion in components and devices. Some of the benefits experienced by using a damping grease are haptic, and so it's obviously very difficult to convey the advantages or demonstrate improvements on a video. The first nut and bolt has no grease applied. It's dry or unlubricated. You can see, by the way, we've wedged some plastic on either side so we can better demonstrate the, uh, the nut and bolt. If I shake the nut and bolt, you can hear an audible rattle. You can also hear metal on metal scraping against each other. There's even a slight squeak there. There's also a tactile feel issue here. When I'm operating the nut and bolt, I can feel the movement is not smooth. So if this was a customer operator con operated control, it wouldn't give the operator a positive perceived value of the device. I suppose another way of describing that would be that it feel cheap, um, definitely not premium. Also, when I spin the nut and release, the nut doesn't stop immediately after I let go. It's hard to see on video when you we'll see if we can slow it down for you, but we call this free movement and sometimes it can be termed coasting. Reminder that this is a crude example and the viewer will have to think of these issues in the context of their own device or component that they're working on. Our first nut and bolt that's had a damping grease applied to it is this one here and it has a, a very light damping grease applied to the bolt thread. Uh, this very light damping grease is from the Tribusin 320 series. It's clear in colour, or you might say translucent. So it's hard to see on the, on the camera that the grease is present. This is the softest damping grease in the 320 range. You'll see that even this very light damping grease has stopped the rattle. It's also stopped any noise when I rotate or heavily reduced it, maybe a little bit there. Uh, as it's obviously lubricating the metal on metal surface interaction. And it's also prevented any coasting. I can still feel a little metal on metal scraping when I'm twisting the, boat, the bolts. Um, so this very soft damping grease is not viscous enough to prevent, completely prevent the metal on metal surfaces touching. But already we can see how effective a damping grease can be. The next nut and bolt that we have has the Tribusin 320 orange applied, which is a medium level damping grease. And please keep in mind that uh, damping terminology is subjective. It's a subjective matter. So this grease offers what we call a medium level of damping, but that's really only in the context of the all Tribusin 320 series. As you would expect, there's no rattling sound like with the very light clear. There's no coasting. There is more resistance offered by the grease when I twist the nut and bolt. And this medium level damping gives a smoother feel and inc increased resistance when I rotate. So if this was a customer operated device, it'd probably be a better customer experience. And the resistance here offered by the grease feels something similar to when you use like a focus mechanism on something, uh, an optical device, I'm thinking of like a lab mi microscope, uh, but not too stiff, but just enough to convey a quality feel. Also, also there's no metal on metal interaction I can feel when I twist. So this is very important for giving the user feeling of a high-end device or a luxury feel. You might imagine this, uh, uh, this type of damping required when automotive interior trim parts move, such as 
when sunglasses holders glide from their locking position or when a cup holder is moving. Important to say here that we have six levels of damping in the Tribacin 320 series. Here we're just going to demonstrate three different levels on this particular video, three different levels of damping. But of course you have six options, six damping levels to choose from for the engineer who is potentially watching this. Um, and this is to make sure you can get the kind of tactile feel that you are looking for in your device. Our last nut and bolt example, which is the most viscous or stiffest grease in the Tribacin 320 range is the blue, which is a very heavy damping grease. With this grease applied, there's definitely no rattling, of course, no coasting, and the level of resistance when I twist the nut and bolt is significantly higher. It feels like the resistance offered by old fashioned binocular focus mechanisms, uh, especially with that really uh, stiff feel when you pivot in the middle of the binoculars, depending how the distance between your eyes. Now the twisting action requires some force to move the bolt, but it does convey a luxury feel and gives the user a better perceived value potentially of any device. It's always important not to go over the top when you apply a damping grease, and that is to say, you know, not, not a damping grease that's too stiff for your design. Much depends on the dynamics of the component you're considering for a, applying a damping grease to. Also, how much grease you can apply can sometimes be a, a separate complication. We do offer a trial pack of the damping grease, uh, the 320 damping grease series. So the user has a decent uh, sample amount of grease in uh, throughout the range to evaluate the various viscosities in their design. The tricky thing with damping grease is that when you try to determine which grease is best for a new design or prototype, there's nothing better than trial and error, which can involve trying one grease, cleaning off the grease, and then trying something of a lighter or heavier damping effect, depending on how the initial test, test works out.